Happy New Year everyone! My name is not important, which is Nimportant or Nimpy, as you'll know if you've seen my show before. And if you're not amongst those privileged few, let me give you the lowdown on how this is going to go. You see, I'm a man who believes that there are more than seven deadly sins. I believe it to the nth degree. In fact, I believe it to the zth degree. The omega degree. The degree to which Mona believes she was a vampire. That's how far I go with this, alright? DON'T TEST ME! And to that end, I am drawing up my own little list of specials to add to the everyday menu. Yes, YouTube newbies and veterans alike, this this is the show you've been looking for. I present to you, The Execrables. New Year, New Execrables, same list as before. And today's entry is New Year themed. Yes, today I'm going to start a serious debate. Be warned, this is something a lot of people may disagree with me on, but here goes. Today's Execrable is people who believe that a kiss at midnight on New Year's Eve is so romantic that they'll kiss anyone in order to not miss out on it. Yeah, alright, shut up. Personally, I don't see what's so romantic about New Year's. Almost inevitably, you seem to wake up with a sore head, on the sofa, under the dog's blanket, with the dog, or because you've lent your bed to your best mate and their partner, who in spite of last night's threats of death, death and dismemberment you are sure have soiled your sheets. New Year's Eve itself isn't particularly pretty either. I've been to family parties where the drinking doesn't stop and parties with mates where the drinking never ends and I wonder if any of them can remember the fireworks on the TV at all or whether they're too preoccupied being catatonic, crying or catching glandular fever from the unfortunate soul that they've happened to lock lips with at the stroke of midnight. I read up on this so-called tradition of tonguing at 12pm and it seems to have taken root back in Rome. What have the Romans ever done for us? where scholars tie it to the Roman festival of Saturnalia. Fast forward to the Renaissance era and the Europeans are holding masked balls on New Year's Eve where the masks came off and the kissing got going at the stroke of 12 to banish evil spirits, they said. That excuse doesn't seem to fly today as well as it did back then, trust me. In any case, most of the sites that I saw concluded that it was German and English folklore that dictated you better be snogging or be sorry when Big Bang bongs because failing to kiss someone, according to superstition, ensures a year of loneliness. But let's be honest, sometimes the kiss will do exactly the same thing, especially after three Jaeger bombs and a sponge cake dipped in Contro. Yes, yeah, Steve, I'm looking at you! Alright, so I'm a bit sceptical of the traditions, but then again they are traditions and we prop up a plastic fir tree every December hoping that a fat bloke will drop in through the chimney. There are some pretty weird traditions out there, but what I think is abominable is that some people will kiss anyone in order to not spend that one moment alone. And in many cases, this ends badly. It's as if society has determined that the New Year's midnight moment is guilt-free, only to smack you in the face with guilt the next morning, coupled with the hangover from hell. Not a good way to start a new year. You know what is a good way to start the new year? The way the Dutch do it. Donuts. They, they eat donuts. I, I like donuts. Kissing someone for the sake of kissing someone on New Year's. It's on the list. I sincerely hope that your New Year's Eve was amazing and that 2019 affords you everything you desire. And if it doesn't, take a leaf out of my book and rant about it on the internet. Everyone else does. Until next time, stay sane out there. This has been a public service announcement.